Hey guys, it's Crazy Comic Lady here and this is question two of the Disney drawing challenge that I put together with the Pimp Man fan here on YouTube. Um, and this question was to gender bend any villain. Um, I've always struggled with uh, gender bending characters. It's not my strong suit because I kind of just, I guess I've always just seen them as they are rather than what they could be. Uh, so anyway, I decided to do Frollo from Hunchback of Notre Dame just because he's probably one of my most favourite villains because he's just so evil and I, I love that. I love it when you get like proper evil, evil characters. And what made him so great was he thought that he was, he truly believed that he was like doing the right thing and that he was a just good man and that just made him even more evil and brilliant in the end because he got stuff so wrong and he was a quite scary at the very end when he falls to his doom but yeah I love I love Frollo <laughs> uh, along with Maleficent as well they're probably my two most favorite Disney villains um yeah as a kid uh I wasn't like a massively huge fan of Hunchback of Notre Dame I think it's one of those films which uh it appealed to me as I got older just like Beauty and the Beast I never liked that as a child either but as I got older I appreciated it more somehow just for like its music and everything I did really love how they put um, Easter eggs in in the Hunchback of Notre Dame movie because at the beginning when Quasimodo is looking down at like all the people like going to the festival and everything if you pause it you can see um, Belle is actually walking through the streets with all the crowd reading one of her books which I really like because of course that is uh, Beauty and the Beast is set in France and so is Hunchback of Notre Dame so it's, it's kind of conceivable that that would actually be happening as well so I love how that kind of fits in. Um, and I think also the magic carpet from Aladdin is in that scene as well, um, being like shaken out of a, a door or something. I can't really remember, I have to like look it up, but it's really great if you do like Google Easter eggs um, from Disney movies. There's all sorts of really cool stuff that appears in movies, like in, uh, in Beauty and the Beast when Gaston falls to his doom at the end. Uh, if you pause it on just the right frame, you can actually see a skull and crossbones that's um, that appears like in his eye just as he's falling which I, I quite like that one as well um, it took me a while to find that one because you have to it's literally just like less than a second that you have to like pause the pause the recording the video on to find it so but yeah I kind of I'm a little bit annoyed of the eye the eye on the left in this picture is it looks too big like compared to the other one which I didn't notice that one at the time when I was when I was colouring everything which was kind of annoying but um yeah I kind of I wish they'd make more Hunchback and Notre Dame dolls because I think they've only ever made the dolls that are in the the very that came out when the movie first came out I think it's about time they brought out some Hunchback and Notre Dame dolls I do kind of wish that there were more like minority groups kind of portrayed in like cartoons in general like disabled people and stuff because I know there was a cartoon I cannot remember what it was called which was about um the hero was a blind boy I can't remember what that what that movie was called but um yeah and there was an anime angelic Leia, where the mother was actually disabled in a wheelchair but in general there just doesn't seem to be like a whole lot of portrayal of of like people with disabilities and stuff which I think is a shame because like we all deserve to like be treated as like people and whatever um but yeah anyway i hope you like my picture of frollo as a woman and i was kind of annoyed that for some reason like the pink in the background didn't show up in like the photographs or anything or the scanned images that i took um which was which was a bit of a pain but i kind of preferred this picture more as a line art than as a finished colored one but anyway thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all soon bye